In a world where every word carries the power to shape reality, discover the secret that has been whispered through the ages. Neville Goddard's timeless wisdom unveils the blueprint, revealing that our words are not mere expressions, but the very tools of creation. Transform your life with the precision of a master craftsman. Join us on a journey to harness this power and manifest the world you've always dreamed of, your words, your creation. Welcome to Quantum Mind. Our journey begins at the very foundation of existence, words. Neville Goddard suggests that words, the primal sounds we shape into meaning, are the building blocks of our reality. They are not just letters strung together but vibrations carrying energy creating waves that touch and transform everything they encounter. Each word we utter, each thought we form, is a ripple in the ocean of existence. In many religious and philosophical traditions, creation itself is sparked by a divine utterance. From the biblical, let there be light, to the Hindu mantra Om, the foundational sound of the universe, words are seen as the genesis of existence. This is not merely a spiritual idea but a scientific one too. Quantum physics tells us that everything in the universe, from the smallest particle to the vast cosmos, is in a state of vibration. And words, with their distinct sound frequencies, are part of this vibrational reality. But words aren't just about sound and vibration, they are also about meaning. The words we choose, the narratives we construct shape our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. They can inspire or deflate, heal or harm, create or destroy. Take the word love, for instance, feel its warmth, its softness resonate within you. Now think of the word hate. Notice how it strikes a distinctly different chord. This is the power of words, the power to evoke and stir emotions, the power to shape our perceptions and our very reality. Historically, this power has been recognized and revered. Ancient Egyptians believed in the concept of Heka, magical power, derived from the spoken word. The Greeks had their logos, the divine reason implicit in the cosmos, driving the course of events. These ancient cultures understood that words hold a profound sway over our existence. Words are not just mere sounds, they hold the power to create and destroy, to heal and hurt. So, let us tread lightly in the world of words, for in them lies the power to shape our reality. Words are the architects of our universe. Imagine a world where buildings are thoughts, cities are ideas, and the continents are belief systems. In this world words are the construction materials, the bricks and mortar that shape and structure our reality. Consider for instance the difference between positive and negative word use. Positive words like love, joy, and gratitude are like sunlight streaming through a window, illuminating our thoughts and emotions. They lift us up, inspire us, and encourage growth and expansion. These words act as architects, constructing a reality filled with optimism, resilience, and happiness. Conversely, negative words such as hate, fear, and regret are like storm clouds looming overhead. They cast a shadow over our minds breeding pessimism, anxiety, and doubt. These words too are architects but they construct a reality of limitations, obstacles, and challenges. And yet, it's not just the words themselves that make a difference, it's the power we give them, the emotional weight we attach to them. When we say I can, we empower ourselves, we become the architects of our own success. When we say I can't, we disempower ourselves, we become the architects of our own failure. But what if we could change the blueprint? What if we could choose the words we use and in doing so, alter the reality we create? This is the power of words, the power to shape our thoughts, our beliefs, and our reality. It's like being handed a blank canvas and a palette of colors. The canvas is our mind, the colors are our words, and the picture we paint is our reality. So let's choose our words wisely, let's choose words that inspire, uplift, and empower. Let's choose words that foster love, not hate, unity, not division, and positivity, not negativity. Let's use our words to construct a reality that reflects our deepest desires, our highest aspirations, and our truest selves. The words we choose to use can shape not only our thoughts but our reality as well. With great power comes great responsibility, and words are no exception. In today's world, where everything seems saturated with negativity, it's important to remember that our language plays a significant role in shaping our perceptions. It's not uncommon to hear phrases like I can't, it's impossible or I'm not good enough in daily conversations. 
These words, while seemingly harmless can subtly instill a sense of limitation and self-doubt. Our society in many ways has become accustomed to a negative linguistic environment. We often hear sensationalized news reports that focus on disaster, conflict, and despair. We see social media posts that criticize, demean, or belittle. We encounter conversations that are rife with complaints and pessimism. This negative language, whether we realize it or not, seeps into our consciousness and shapes our reality. Words are not simply sounds or symbols. They are powerful tools that can create or destroy, uplift or depress, heal or harm. They can paint a picture of a world that is full of opportunities, or they can depict a bleak landscape devoid of hope. The words we choose to use have the ability to shape our mindset, influence our behavior, and ultimately, dictate the course of our lives. Understanding the power of words necessitates recognizing their responsibility. Each word we utter, each sentence we write, every tweet or post we share carries with it a ripple effect. It influences not only our own thoughts and feelings but also those of the people around us. Just as a single pebble can create ripples across a pond, a single word can impact countless lives. So it's time to take a step back and examine our own language. Are we using words that empower or words that diminish? Are we contributing to the positivity in the world or are we adding to the negativity? Are we using our words to build bridges or to create barriers? The responsibility of using words wisely is ours to bear. Let's strive to use our words to inspire, to encourage, to heal, and to uplift. After all, with great power comes great responsibility, and words are no exception. Words have the potential to bring about a profound transformation in our lives. This isn't just an abstract concept, but a practical tool we can utilize each day. Imagine your life like a canvas, and your words are the paintbrush. What kind of picture are you creating? Positive affirmations serve as a powerful tool to reshape our reality. They are simple, positive statements declared in the present tense that reflect the reality we want to manifest. For instance, instead of saying, I want to be successful, we affirm, I am successful. This shift in language positions us in the now, rather than in a distant future. It's an invitation to step into the reality we want to create. But affirmations aren't just about wishful thinking. They're about aligning our imagination with our will, creating a harmony between what we desire and the energy we put forth to attain it. This alignment is vital. Simply saying the words isn't enough. We need to feel them, believe in them, and live by them. Now let's dive into the power of positive self-talk. Think of it as the ongoing conversation we have with ourselves, the story we tell ourselves about who we are and what we're capable of. Positive self-talk is all about changing this narrative to something more supportive and kind, turning negative thoughts into positive affirmations. So instead of beating yourself up with thoughts like, I can't do this, try cheering yourself on with, I've got this. And when you find yourself thinking, this is too hard, remind yourself, I can handle this. By shifting our internal dialogue, we shift our perceptions, our emotions, and ultimately, our reality. Remember, our words create ripples in the universe. Each word is a declaration of intention, a signal to the universe about what we want to manifest. The universe responds to our words, our thoughts, and our emotions. It's a dance of energy and intention. By consciously choosing our words, we can manifest the life we desire. The power is in our hands, or rather, it's on the tip of our tongue. Let's use it wisely. Our words have a ripple effect, extending beyond our individual experience. Picture this. Every word we utter, every thought we express, is like a pebble thrown into a vast, calm lake. Each word creates ripples, influencing not only our personal reality, but also the collective consciousness we all share. Imagine the power of a single word. Now consider the impact of a thousand, a million, a billion words all rippling out into the universe. It's kind of mind-boggling, isn't it? This is why it's so crucial to adopt a loving approach to our inner dialogue and the words we speak aloud. Our words can create a symphony of positivity or a cacophony of negativity. They can build bridges or erect walls. So, let's choose our words wisely. Let's choose words that uplift, inspire, and transform. When we change our words, we can change our world. Thank you for watching. If you found value in this message, please like and subscribe for more insights and strategies to enhance your life. Together, let's continue to grow and create positive change.